Hey guys. Um, so in the past two and a half years that we've been distributing part of it um, to you guys, um, I've had a lot of comments and um, questions and everything else around the part of it distribution. The, mainly I'm talking about the part of it installers and how to get part of it consistently um, on your machines, specifically when it comes to distributing part of it to um, in the basically the work environment that you have too many team members and stuff like that. So a while ago, uh, about a, like two months ago, I really sat down and thought about this um, this whole distribution model and sort of like came up with a new distribution model for Pyravid that, <clears throat> that makes it easy for me to um, distribute Pyravid to all the um, all you guys out there and also give you um, enough powerful tools that you can customize the Pyravid um, environment and the basically the platform for your own usage inside your own companies and be able to distribute it easily to um, to all your uh, team members and keep it updated and everything else. So basically what I came up with is that um, there are two interfaces for getting Pyravid into on your machines. There is the Pyravid installer and there is the new Pyravid command line interface that uh, I've developed. Um, I'm generally categorizing all the users of Pyravid into two major groups. There are standard users who are beginners with um, with uh, writing programs for Python or basically using these add-ons for Revit and stuff like that, or the Revit Pro users, and they just want these tools for um, productivity and stuff like that, and they don't really want to develop um, their own tools and everything else. So this category is basically the category of people that use Pyravid on a daily basis. They want to have it on their machine. They can install it themselves. And um, they don't have to worry about like you know they have admin rights to the to their machines um, in general, and they just want to they just want to reuse part of it, and they're generally working. Maybe you're working in a big architectural office or engineering office, and part of it is not distributed to your machines um, as part of the company add-ons, but you still want to have it on your machine. Um, so that's basically this category. And there's the other category is the category of developers and the team users. Um, developers are the ones who install Pyravid and they create their own extensions for it. They might want to have the standard Pyravid tools or they might not want to have those and just uh, use Pyravid as the core to distribute um, um, their extensions to the team members or just you know create that extensions for themselves and stuff. Um, the primary distribution model for the users will be the installer that you get from um, um, that you get from the download from the internet. This installer from now on will not include the Git repository. Uh, it will come prepackaged with that version of Pyravid. Like for example, right now I'm pushing uh, 4.6 beta one, and uh, the installer it's about 40 megabytes in size, and it comes included with the um, all the Pyravid contents and the base tools and everything else inside it. Um, it will not have the Pyravid development uh, extension, which I generally use on my side. Um, so the file size, the installation size is basically a six of what it really should, uh, what you generally get on uh, using the Git. So it's a lot smaller. It's very much easier to install on your machines and to distribute it to, um, um, like, you know, if you want to share it with the friends and, you know, other people's machines and stuff like that. Um, so to install, basically use installer from internet, from private, not internet, it's a pretty big space, private, um, private block or private repo. Um, and to stay updated, um, download new installers or use private update tool. So when the installer installs Pyravid for you, it actually creates a shortcut in your start menu that uh, points to Pyravid update. You need to close all your Revit. It tells you that, you know, close the Revit, update it, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then the way this model works is that um, initially when I started distributing Pyravid, I really wanted to use Git to do this. But over time, the Git repository got a lot larger than, you know, what I really initially wanted to be, especially when I started including binary files in it. Um, so it kind of doesn't make sense to distribute 600 megabytes of data to your machines, which you only need about 100 out of that to make Pyravid work. Um, so that's the reason for the new installer. The drawback with this is that you don't have the nice um, sort of like the update mechanism that comes with the Git, because Git updates are pretty much live. So every time I push something, you just click on the update button and it updates it for you. 
Um, the update button in the Pyrate will update your extensions because they still got, come from Git repositories, but not the Pyrate core. Uh, you have to close your Revit, use a Pyrate update, or if there's a new install, you have to get the new installer. Um, the nice thing about it is that I can start uh, creating new, um, new basically deployments, uh, maybe once or twice a month with most of the new updates. I can do more tests and stuff like that, so they're not, you know, more breaking tools breaking and whatnot. And honestly, throughout the two and a half years of experience um, servicing you guys, I realized that you know most people don't really need the Git repository on their machine to get the live updates and stuff like that. If I fix it, you know, fix an issue for you guys, um, I can issue a uh, create a deployment right then and there, and just you can use the installer to update your machine. So this gives a very, um, very. This basically simplifies the private installation to a very well known. Um, distribution model that you, you just get the download the installer and you're good to go. Um, Pyrovid command line interface comes shipped with the uh, Pyrovid itself because the Pyrovid is uh, slowly using some of the um, DLL libraries and stuff like that that uh, is inside the, is basically comes as the Py uh, Pyrovid CLI package because of um, uh, dealing with Git repositories and also for, you know, faster uh, more memory efficient actions and stuff like that when Pyrovid is running. Uh, so you will have the, car, uh, the CLI tool on your machine even if you get the install uh, installer. And the way that works is that Pyrovid, the, basically those binaries are included in, the, uh, in your installation. Um, and I'll demonstrate that in, in a few seconds in, or in the next video that I'm showing you um, how to install Pyrovid and the new Pyrovid 4.6. Um, so you can start dabbling with it and playing with it and understanding better if you want to, to kind of like see how the Pirate CLI tool works and whatnot. So if you are one of the big beginners that want to, you know, start learning about Python programming and eventually you want to be in this group, um, this is a good playground for you that you have the Pirate CLI tool to play with it and, you know, give me feedbacks and stuff like that. For the second group, the developers, um, to install Pirate, get the CLI tool and use to clone Pyrovid, however you want it to be. I'm assuming that most of these people in this majority of the um, developers in this group understand how to use terminal um, and um, simple, you know, input uh, input commands in the terminal to get, you know, uh, the um, the Pyrovid on their machines and whatnot. And then to update it, same thing, use the, use the installed, installed uh, CLI to keep your repos updated. And for all the people who do team admins that want to distribute Pyrovid to many different people in, inside their office, CLI tool will be the primary uh, way to, you know, to achieve that goal. You install the, it's a fairly simple installation. You just deploy the CLI tool onto everybody's user machine. And then you create a script that basically says Pyrovid clone uh, from that repository, you can customize it fully to, you know, install from your own repositories and stuff like that, or archives and whatnot, your own extensions, everything else. It's fully flexible um, to do whatever you want it to be inside your environment. You can use it to configure Pyrovid. Um, I've already done one video um, to basically introduce Pyrovid CLI, but um, what I'm going to do in the next month is to create small videos on how to do different things uh, using the Pyrovid CLI and using the Pyrovid uh, installer, plus all the new features that are coming with the uh, Pyrovid 4.6. So this is basically the new distribution model for Pyrovid. Um, the only, uh, I'll do it in the next video, I'll do, um, I basically what I'm planning to do is to do two other videos, one for um, the new 4.6 beta for um, the users group, and then 4.6 beta, all the advanced features for the developers. So I'll, I'll demonstrate how the installer works in that video. If you want to see that, watch that video for the users. Um, if any of the developers also want to see the, how the installer works, just watch that video. And uh, we'll do a video on um, so sort of like how to use the Pyrovid CLI tool, again, with the new changes and everything else um, to get the Pyrovid on your, uh, on your machines or on the team machines.